welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our Cat Tales series. And we are back with our, the beautiful Dawn Star in. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't wait to see it. We're in Sunrise Colony, you guys. Oh my gosh, we're in Sunrise Colony. So if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Tia, and this is Cat Tales, and we are working with Dawn Star to put together her full colony. Currently, we have three, no, four cats right now in our colony, but we're working up to kind of adding all of the different cats um, that came with the custom colony update in Cat Tales. And currently, we what I was thinking you guys after I looked over some of the comments and everything, I think we're gonna do a raffle for the, um, for the new characters so what i want you guys to do i'm gonna do this before we start get started on anything major so what i want you guys to do is if you have a character you want to have basically placed up for um i guess auction or that you want to be placed into cattails game we're going to put them i want you guys to put all of those um characters in the comments and then i'm pretty much going to just randomize so we're going to pick characters currently we only have Claudius, Galen, and Sunshine are the ones that are available right now, but we're going to end up changing their names and their coat colors. So you guys can see here the different coat colors I have. I have the brown tiger, the golden tabby, the calico color, the ticked gray color, the hacker, the sunbeam. I have a bunch of colors, So and I, have a, I can get a lot of the other colors as well. So if you have a specific color that you want your cat to be or you kind of want your cat to look like, you can put that in your comment and we can spend part of our time in our series kind of going on like a quest to get that pelt color. I think that would be really cool if we could do that. So you guys can put down your suggestions. We already have a lot of suggestions in the comments from the last couple of videos. I know Snowy put up Fire Tail from our Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge. Laura, Laura put up that Leopard Tail from our Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge could be maybe our shopkeeper. Um, I saw Rain Shadow also put up a cat with that would be like the chocolate bangle color who would end up be either being sunshine or mango I think so there's a lot everybody has a lot of the a lot of characters in the comments already so I'm gonna take all of the characters after I think the next three episodes and you guys can let me know once we get all of the characters in then we're gonna switch then we're gonna actually start changing things up I don't want to start changing their colors and everything until we actually start getting everyone in so that everybody has a chance to look at them and be like I want that cat with this color and this name and they're gonna have this mediocre type of personality because the main goal right now is to get is all of the single cats and all of the NPCs into our colony right now and that's probably going to be we're going to say for dawn her main goal right now is to build her colony she wants to have everything built up great and she wants to have as, so, as many cats as possible in the colony before she kind of starts to get settled i don't think she would feel happy until she had all of the cats that were going to be in the colony and then she could kind of relax and really start looking into expanding her den and getting really comfy maybe starting a romance or two you know what i'm saying okay so that's what we're thinking you guys let me know what you guys would like for those cats put all of those suggestions for coat colors cat names and the cat that you would want them to be so what npc you want that person your your cat to like stand in for in the comments and then i'll look over them and we're, we won't actually change everything until we get all the other cats in and that might take us maybe three to four episodes maybe so you guys have a lot of time to just pile in the comments let me know what you think and then we'll make that change later so currently we're just going to work on getting a ton of mews so that we can put in some more cats because each single cat is about 300 mews and then i think the shopkeeper's 500 mews and then not even to mention the fact that we still have to expand her den and then add in decorations and all that other fun stuff so we have a lot of things to do you guys currently we have almost a 100 mews so we're kind of working at a good pace right now we're going to try and pick up some more stuff and dawn really going to want to protect her territory since her colony is currently new oh my goodness i'm so excited the colony is so new so currently we're probably just gonna help her protect the borders do some basic hunting in these areas probably try and pick up as much food as we can so we can sell everything to coco at the end of the day and maybe she can try and kind of endear herself back to the forest colony because currently we're like 
right at their border like not even gonna lie we're like real close so we might end up having to go in and talk to them and be like hey we're not a threat promise so that's what i'm thinking you guys i know i'm super bouncy and excited because i love this game it's oh i was i did not even realize okay no don't hurt all my new cats you guys are horrible don't hurt all my new cats there we go hi pumpkin oh that reminds me pumpkin it's spring now we can take our we can take our dragonfly out again where is he pumpkin there we go so pumpkin is our pet dragonfly you guys we got him when we first did the what's it called oh tommy hello so it's really cool to have cats walking around here it's kind of awesome but we got pumpkin on our first i believe it was our first pumpkin carving um festival i think it was our first fall festival so i think it would be really cool Ooh, let's go i think it's this way yeah we have to go to mystic colony so let's go this way but he we got our we got him after our first fall festival and i think dawn absolutely loves him she might even pass him down to maybe some of her kittens that might be a thing oh that would be so cute if like pumpkin became like a family pet or maybe like he ended up having some children or we got a different family pet and maybe he like passed away after a bit and we changed his name i don't know it would be so it would be like a cute little thing to do considering that we the pets don't really do anything they just follow you and we didn't really pick up any other pets Ooh, there's lavender over here let's pick this up so currently i think dawn is just getting settled and having in being a leader i don't know if she's um, as prepared for it as she thought she would be. So let's help out, help out, our, help out all of our cats and use our abilities to help everyone get rid of all of these. Where is, are there, is there, are there more? There are more. Go down, get them, get them. Okay, you can do it, Dawn. Be careful because you're getting really low on health. And since you're a leader, you need to, like, not die. That's, that's, that's a thing. We need to not die. So let's heal her up a bit. She is dangerously low. I didn't realize that. Come on, love. She's also really good with plants, which I think is why she would, would, would have wanted to wait until she moved to get, um, to get that garden that we were talking about. I think that would have been, like, a great... Ooh, yay, food. Tiny, get out of the way. Yay! What is her name? Player? Playler? Play? Plater? Player? Is that it? Ouch, I think I just stepped on a thorn. So it's Playler. Interesting. Beautiful color though. Such a cute kitty. So we're gonna pick up all these coins. We are way over 100 Mews now, and we weren't even trying. Look at that. So let's see. Currently, how is our map looking? So we're kind of working our way to taking this base over. And we're probably going to take these spaces up considering Forest Colony probably won't be able to get back to them anytime soon. Um, let's see. Let's take Dawn up this way. We want to make sure we pick up as much food and things as possible. There is a frog. Oop, there's fishies. Get it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she doesn't like it over here much, which is why she want she picked a like south woodland area. She didn't want to be near water too much, even though she recognizes that a lot of the really good plants like spawn in water and she loves loves love loves the snake lily. Snake lily helps her so much when she's fighting, so she absolutely adores it, but she didn't know if she'd be able to take over any territory with snake lily in it. Come on. Don't go off the screen, bunny. Did it go off the screen? Nope. So let's hide in the flowers, Dawn. Let's wait for it. There we go. We got the bunny. So she's a little bit hungry. I think the bass are more expensive. So we're gonna keep those and have her eat some of these. I think we're up here. I don't know if she can use she's not she doesn't have her diplomacy skill up on right now i have her with summon allies and deep cuts i think 
we're probably going to start putting her diplomacy skill back on, particularly because she needs to start taking over more territory. So, because I don't think she would want to like maybe start a family until she had a good buffer of territory around the colony, particularly because this might happen. Because <laughs> these cats are coming after her like no one's business. All right, come on, Dawn. Oh, I just love this game. I, I played the custom colony update over the weekend and I was like, oh, I'll have a little bit of time to play it after work and it'll be awesome. And I finally got a chance to play. And so now I'm just kind of like fangirling over all the stuff and everything you guys said in the comments because everybody's been so supportive and great. This has actually been a really, really like effective um, series so far. Apparently you guys seem to really like it, which I, I'm completely for. I love, I love the little, the little cats. Of course I do. Okay. So let's see. I really wish that this little icon could be customized. Like I wish it would actually look like your cat. I think that would be a really cute feature. Um, where do we want to go? I kind of want to go, she doesn't really need to go to the mines recently. Um, might want to go over this way so we can check and see if we see any more plants because there's always good way to tell if we can like sell some stuff and ooh, fish for some reason fish also sell for a good bit there we go that was a trout she's gotten better at fishing I'm proud of her there we go and here's a mountain colony coming to ruin our fun get the get this frog so we can Nope. All right, let's go. Forest outskirts. This is actually a really pretty place too. Like you could set up a little area right here. I'm just thinking every time I look at a new area now, I'm thinking about what you could do with it as like a colony base. Cause you could set up a cat right here. They're all just so cute. I love how they kind of created the area specifically for this too. I know that when you watch the little dev live stream, which I'll, I always have a link in the description box for the live stream for the custom colony update if you guys didn't get to see that live stream, but most of the time when you saw the live stream, they basically showed a lot of the places that they liked that would be really great for colonies. Come on, pick it up. Come on, Don, you can do it. There we go. So yeah, this is the place. I don't think this is the place that I like. Let's see if she can catch another fish because fish seem to be going well for her today. So we have a lot of stuff. So we have a lot of trout, some rabbits. She's a little hungry, but she'll be fine. She's a fighter, our little Dawn Star. We are at the river span, which is also in Sunrise Colony territory. Oh my gosh. You have no idea how much that makes me happy, you guys. We are in Sunrise Colony territory. And Dawnstar is the leader of Sunrise Colony. And look, Scar! That's actually a very pretty little Siamese cat. Not Siamese. Yeah, that's a Siamese. That's the, that's the pattern. Ooh, bunny! Come on, Don, you can get it. Hopefully it doesn't go off map. That would kind of annoy me. Don't go off map. Don't go off map. Get it. Yeah! We win! Hello, Coco! We have a lot of stuff. It's 9 p.m. We were busy. No, I don't want to go in there. So let's see. Dawnstar, how can I help you today? Let's visit the shop and sell items. Okay, so we're going to sell... Let's do sell all and see how much we get. So it's 88, so we'll hit 200 if we sell everything. Um, so trout are three. Whoa, bass are eight. That is ridiculous. We need to do some more fishing. Um, those are two, so we're going to keep these because we need it for food. Um, that's four, that's four, so we want to keep these. These are everywhere, so we can sell those. Um, bunny, that's four. And I think those are three, so we'll keep these and sell the bunnies because we want to keep them for food so let's sell for 70 sell items all right we're getting there we're getting there this is good this is good I appreciate it cool so what our goal currently is is to pick up enough food and things to make sure that we'll be okay so we don't have to worry too much about um, 
Dawn being able to take care of herself. But look at all the stuff we have. And she still has some snake lily. Hopefully she'll be able to kind of make that stretch a little bit. But currently we're just going to wait close the day out for a second then tomorrow we're gonna see if we can find some more stuff i think dawn is really wanting to try and expand the territory a little bit more we might ch change up her skills which i think we should do that now so let's go to active skills let's do let's do da, 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 da. i think deep cuts is the one she doesn't need let's unequip that and then Equip diplomacy because we're gonna need it to start really taking over territory. I think currently this point in time is just about expansion. We want to make sure that she gets all of the territory she needs, like a good baseline, like as much as she can, so that she can kind of be a little bit safe about when it comes to um, when it comes to kind of having a good buffer for the rest of her colony so all of the cats in her colony can be as safe as possible. So she has lion's roar. She has come home, diplomacy, sprint. We don't really need warp to temple. These are kind of like on their own. And then let's see. So we can upgrade a couple things actually. So we can upgrade her fighting. I think now as leader, being the best fighter would be very important to her. So now she has max fighting skill. Heck yeah. She's going to be, everyone thought of her as the great General Dawn anyway. So now she is the great, amazing Dawn Star. All right. So we're just going to have her get some sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. Wiggy, wiggy, Dawn. Good morning, lovely. She's in such a peppy mood. So currently, where are we fighting? We are fighting right below the territory. So this is my goal, you guys. So I don't want there to be any major fights right here. Like, all the major fights should be happening out in this area. There should not be any fights happening here. I don't want this to be, like, the only place where we have, like, control. I kind of want control around this big perimeter so that we have a good chunk of chunk of territory to work with so we'll probably go and fight down here and take over some territory down that way so all right come on Don. so let's get you some food some healing items let's give you that bunny and sort through that keep those frogs for future use um let's see we have these those will be fine and we'll take this stuff and we'll take three of these and sort through that so that'll be fine that should tide her over for the day it is a beautiful morning let's go down and talk to coco hi Dawnstar. how can i help you today oh you, we can't even actually interact with him never mind so there's claudius and sunshine oh and galen over here in our beautiful little corner i absolutely love where we placed galen like this is my favorite like choice spot like ever this is my favorite spot you guys like i absolutely adore this but you guys can let me know as like i said what you guys think we should change any of these cats to the colors the names and which cat you choose and we'll end up doing a raffle thank you so much to rain shadow for suggesting this i think it would be a really great idea and you guys know me i will definitely show favoritism i'm not gonna lie to specific <laughs> to specific cats like our sims 3 warrior cats like suggestions so i want to be as fair as possible so if we do a random one it's less likely for me to be like oh my god leopard tail and choose that one <laughs> So, which way? Oh, we're supposed to go down. But since we're this way, we'll go this way. Come on, Dawn. Since you have to cross rivers. You hate rivers, but we can we can handle it now. She's she's the great Dawn Star. It's fine. Um, We have one more. Is this territory going to be ours? Well, this territory is already ours. We don't really have to worry about it. The more we walk around here, the less likely it'll be taken from us anyway. Seriously? Stupid bunnies. There it is. Get the bunny, Dawn. Get the bunny. Come on. Stupid bunnies. Don't they know that you're on a mission? That's like Bunny Central. Gosh, Dawn. Get it. There we go. So let's see. Can we get this one? Let's hide in the grass over here. So it's not going to see us. Yeah, there we go. 
I think we just stumbled on a bunny haven and they just weren't expecting the claws of the Great Dawn Star to come down upon them. All right, let's go. Keep going, keep going. Yep, there we are. Back up, call her back up. Get her, Sophie. Sophie, you are fierce. Get her. We must protect Sophie. <laughs> Captain, get out of the way. I know we were we, we were clan mates once. We can do this. Yeah, Sophie, we did it. Are you okay? Don't tell anyone, but I've got a pet mouse back at my den. He's too cute to eat. Aw, we understand. We have a pet dragonfly. We refuse to turn him into an ornament. But we saved Sophie. It's okay. Sophie worked with us to take back this territory, or to start taking over this territory. What are we at? We're at half. So maybe we could do... Let's do some fancy wancy. Let's take that. Let's do that. And then... Let's do this. And then... Three. Woo! Now this is controlled by the Sunrise Colony. The sun will rise on this territory once again. Ooh, we should say that now. Every time we take over a territory, the sun the sun shall never set. <gasps> I just I just came up with our clan I came up with our clan slogan. Okay. The sun shall never set. That is just that's gold. That is like George R. R. Martin gold right there, guys. Like, just kidding, I'm not that great. But still, that's kind of like I'm super happy right now because now every time we take over every time we take over a territory, I'm gonna say that. You guys are probably gonna get tired of it. But I'm so gonna say that now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm super happy. Okay, so let's do... We have one more territory to take over. We could probably just warp home. Because I don't feel like walking all that way. So I think Dawn's gonna warp home and then go down this way. And she needs to eat. Let's have her eat some of her mice. And sort through her goodies. She picked up a lot of bunnies. Look at the, the colony, it just looks so cute. I can't wait to start adding in more characters. We have 200 Mews now. We could technically, by the end of this episode, oh, by the, good gosh. Come on, get him, get him, get him. We can do it. No, you. Ref I refuse. I refuse, the sun shall never set. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna turn into such a dork because of this game. <laughs> that is, that's not to say I wasn't already a dork, but still. Okay, let's see. Oop, bunny. We got this. Woo, Dawnstar for the win. Okay, we have a few minute. We have a few hours left until the sun sets. Let's see. Get it. Oh, come on. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Ah, oh, man. There's like a time frame for how long that they, they'll they run. I don't know if it's a time frame or something, or like a, a like proximity meter. I'm not sure, but they usually stop after a certain point. So let's keep looking around, picking up as much food as we can. So we'll have a ton to sell to Coco at the end of the day. Maybe we'll go by the beach and see if we can find anything worth picking up. Okay. Abyss is upset. Get away from me. The sun shall never set. Bwahahaha. It's like I think Abyss forgot to remember that Dawnstar, formerly Dawn, basically took over the, all of these territories for the forest colony. No one can touch her. Let's see. So yeah, we're expanding. I like this. So we're going to start getting all of these territories in this area. And hopefully that'll just kind of set Dawn's mind or Dawnstar. I'm going to have to get used to that. It's going to set Dawnstar's mind at ease when she starts to actually like get acquainted with some of her cats. We'll start really giving everyone gifts and start learning their personalities. That'll actually start happening. I'm very happy about that. So let's work down this way. There's usually dubs around here which are very hard to catch because of the way that the the territory is set up but sometimes you can get them and doves are worth a, a good chunk of money don't see any right now come on Don 
Let's see if we can find anything else. There might be like some scallops or a conch maybe. Conches are hard to find. Like they rarely show up. There might be some fish that we might be able to pick up. Oop, there's one. Come on. Get it. Nope. That did not go the way I wanted it to. Come on, Dawn, you can do it. Let's see. I don't think... Ooh! There's a crow. Crows are always good. They have like a really wide range though. There we go. It is 7 o'clock now, so Dawn should probably be heading back. Come on, Dawn. We have to check on the colony before it gets too dark. In the colony where the sun never sets, we always have to be home by sunset. Or try to be, anyway. Get it. Ah, gosh darn it. Get the crow. It'll help us in our, t in our journey. Where are we going? This way. For, for spending so much time in this game, I have like a horrible sense of direction. Like a horrible sense of direction. I blame that on Dawnstar. She seems to like rule a colony, but she can't read a map. All right, let's see. Is it almost? No, we need a couple more seconds until we get a warp home. I think we'll just have to go this way and hope for the best. Oop, there's a, oh, there's so much food around. I love springtime. Let's see if we can pick up this fish because I'm pretty sure it's a bass and that would make my life so much easier. Get it. Yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. She picked it up. Sometimes for some reason it doesn't immediately pick up and that's annoying. There's a frog. So let's see if we can pick this one up. You can do it, Dawn. Get it. Woo! Victory! Hopefully we'll be able to get home in time. Pretty sure that all of the... All of our, like, what are they called? colony mates there we go all of our colony mates would be a little bit worried about us considering dawn's would probably try to be home earlier because it's the colony is still so new i like this area too here we go we're back home the sunrise colony ah so hi coco let's see what we can sell today hopefully we'll be able to pick up a new cat if we get through all of this stuff so let's sell all I think we can do it. Oh my gosh, we could do it. Oh, this would be an awesome way to end this episode. Okay, so I think this is everything. I think we need... I don't think we need to keep anything, actually. Everything else is food. Nope. 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 Oop. Well, we still have that food in there, so we'll be fine. So let's sell all of that. Sell items. She has 308 Mews. Leave, okay. Awesome, so now we can manage colony. Oh no, we can. We have to visit the shop first. So you have to buy the blueprints. So visit the shop, buy items. Shopkeeper is still 500 Mews, which is gonna take us a bit. Okay, single cat den, two. Woo, let's get it. Yes, please. You've purchased a new structure for your custom colony. You can place this structure in the build menu. Woo, I'm so excited. Okay, who is this going to be? Let's manage the colony. Build menu. Okay, so we need to place it. So this is manageable then two. Build, move, maybe this one right here. That would be nice. Who is it anyway? We'll have to figure out who it is first. So that one would work. And then we have one over here and then we'd set the other one right down here. Yeah, I'd like that. So maybe the other one right around here. And then we'd have our shopkeeper over here maybe? I think that's where it would go. Or like up here in this corner. Ooh, over in this corner maybe. I don't know, we haven't figured it out yet, but it'll happen, we'll, we'll come across it. And you guys can always let me know if you think we should change the structure. So who are you? Oh, you went inside your house. Okay, so we'll just start the day over and we'll see who this is first, because I kind of want to see who it is. Ooh, 
Ooh, I'm so excited. Come on, Dawn. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. So we can wake up in the morning and see who it is. <gasps> wiggy, wiggy, Dawn. Hurry up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. We need to know who it is. Who is the person who has joined our new colony? Hello, Claudius. Good morning. Mango. Hello. Oh, hey there. I haven't caught your name quite yet. What was it? Dawnstar? Got it. I'll try to remember that. Sorry if I don't. I'm bad with names. Oh, I'm Mango, by the way. Hope to see you around, Dawnstar. Ooh. Okay, we're almost there. Two more cats, you guys. Two more cats. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Sunshine is over in her... There. There. There we go. We're going with there because we're leaving all genders up to interpretation. So, Sunshine is in there. Big, huge pile of flowers which is adorable mango we might move i'm not sure where maybe over into this area like where there's like weeds and stuff not sure yet but you guys can let me know Ooh, super excited new cat new cat new cat new cat oh so excited new cat new cat new cat all right so i think this is where we're gonna end this part right here you guys i'm so excited thank you guys so much for being as excited with me about this series like i said if you guys have suggestions for coat colors names any of that fun jazz just put it down in the comments and i will pick it up we're doing this series monday wednesday friday so please let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking so that we can try and stay as up to date and i can keep track of your guys' comments as much as possible i tend to record in bulk but i'm trying to tr do this as like as in much in real time as possible so please let me know your thoughts so that we can kind of create this colony together well thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and i will see you guys next time Bye!